Hello everybody, it's July 5th, 2019. I hope everyone had a happy Independence Day. I did. Um, a while back there was a dog napping case where a um, math teacher professor at Hartnell College um, had uh, taken his neighbor's dog um, named Candy Cane. It was a yellow lab. I guess he did this on two separate occasions. The first time they recovered the dog um, I think he took it down the coast or something and someone found it and it's chipped and uh, they got their dog back. But uh, a while later, the dog disappeared again. Anyways, I was there for the uh, suspect's court date. His name is Greg Perkins. He works at uh, Hartnell College teaching math. Um, and he ended up pleading guilty. He had anger man management courses to take, and I think he did like 30 days in county jail, um, maybe some restitution to the uh, the people that owned the, the yellow lab. And uh, his son actually played with the uh, children or one of the kids from uh, the family where the dog had been napped, napped, abducted. Um, well, I saw him today and I was in Costco and I saw his face and I was probably like 10, 15 yards away and I stopped and I thought about it for a minute and I, I wanted to ask because he never disclosed the uh, location where he dumped the dog the second time and if he killed the dog or you know what the outcome was there and it's bothered me to this day but then I walked back over after I thought about it for a second I was going to ask him but then I saw his son come walking up to him and I said, you know, I don't want to uh, psychologically scar the kid for the actions of the father, but I still feel that justice wasn't done in that case. Um, it may have been for the family. I know they suffered. Um, I was there at the, at the court date and there were some other animal activists that were there um, watching just to see what the outcome was of it. And uh, I wish the judge would have, you know, as part of his sentence or, you know, part of the conditions, um, you know, determine where the dog had been dumped. So there's that sense of closure. Um, I just, the only thing worse than someone that would hurt an animal is someone that hurt a kid. You know, it's like, it's, uh, yeah, it's a sad thing, but, uh, I just, uh, Thought I'd follow up. I, it's just to see him again, and he, he's got the same look on his face as he does in the uh, mugshot photos. He doesn't look like a happy human being. But uh, I had a moment to stare at him and then walk past him and stare at him again without saying a word. And I don't know if that has any effect on him or if he's just uh, some some sort of psycho that would, you know, that could go and kill an animal or dispose of it some way, shape, or form. Anyways, um, I'll put a link in the box below to the uh, KSBW story and you can read through it and see what it says. But uh, yeah, it would be nice if uh, the kids at Hartnell College, or at least Hartnell College, would have held him accountable. They let him continue to teach there even if he had uh, anger management classes to attend. And that's kind of scary when you're around children, all the, our young adults on a regular basis. Peace out.